Yo, what's up guys? It's Jake Gordon again. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a good weekend so far, or a good week, should I say. In this video, I'm going to go over Google Shopping literally in five minutes time. Well, I'm going to try and go over it in five minutes time. I'm going to put a little countdown timer here. The reason I wanted to do this video is because I know a lot of you guys truly still don't understand Google Shopping that much and really don't understand the benefit because I see a lot of you guys are still doing Facebook ads. Now, I'm not a Facebook hater, but join the good side. I promise you, it's a lot more cleaner on the good side. Um, you're going to get much better conversions once you have your campaigns running. Like I said, I'm going to give you five minutes timer and breakdown of it. Why I think you guys are missing out if you're not doing it. Because like I said, I don't do Facebook ads anymore. Um, and you guys have seen the results. Like I don't touch Facebook ads at all. Um, just a quick, quick note as well. What we're planning to do, well, what I'm planning to do is I'm launching a new thing where I'm actually, you know, taking on five people um, and running ads for them. I still don't have time for the one to one. A lot of people have been booking calls for the one to one. I'm fully maxed out. So the one to one is probably going to be not discontinued, but pretty much done until, you know, it's not fully filled up because like I said, I can only do so many um, you know, calls a week um, with clients. So we're doing a new thing, well, I'm doing a new thing, like I said, where you know it's only for people that are actually running ads. So keep that in mind. It's gonna be the second link in the description. If you're running ads and you can't scale, want to scale or want to get to higher levels, um, it's gonna be like a little calendar link, just like the one-to-one -one application, but it's only for people that are running ads. So do not, do not, do not fill in that call if you're not running ads. And if you are running ads and you want to get to a new level, um, like I said, we'll see if it's a good fit for you, but that's going to be offered now in the description of pretty much all videos um, once that is maxed out as well, because um, there's no time for one-to-ones anymore, to be 100% honest. Like I said, there is going to be still the course. Um, like I said, you know, grab the course if you want the, the cheap, cheap version for beginners, step by step, start to finish. But if you're already scaling and you want to get to new heights, I'd recommend grabbing that call if it's a good fit, um, obviously for both of us. But let's get into the video. So, you know, what is Google Shopping in a nutshell? Let's start that timer. So Google Shopping in a nutshell is a platform where obviously we run ads. So think about it. When you're, you know, going on Google, right, and you type in a product, guess what? You see a bunch of ads. So people like me and other people, um, that are running ads, that's where our platform is. Obviously we work on the back end, which is like the ad platform, so just like the business manager on Facebook, and obviously the Facebook ads show on the Facebook feed. So obviously it's not on the front end, but that's literally what Google Shopping ads is. When you see all these ads at the top, and um, sometimes you can see the Google Shopping feed itself, and um, that's literally all the ads. So it's ideally just for physical products, it's not really for info products or anything else. It's mostly for physical products. It doesn't have to be drop shipping, and you know, I'm sure you guys are aware of, it can be pretty much for any physical product um, in the world. You know, it's that simple. You wanna try and rank your ads near the top obviously because if you think about a mobile phone these days well the iPhone are getting quite massive the iPhone 11s are quite big nowadays but you only really see three to five ads on the iPhone for example and um, so you really need to get in that top five for customers to even see you on desktop it's a little bit different you're going to see about 10 to 20 maybe is it 10 something about 10 right but most people are buying from phones believe it or not 90 percent of you know google shopping ads sales come from mobile phones so you want to get that product in that specific niche ranking really in the top three like i said five you'll still be okay and you can still get sales down the line but if you're at the top that's where all the clicks all the traffic are going to be and obviously if you're ranking number one google's put you there for a reason because google want obviously to make money off us but they obviously want you guys to make money so you keep spending with them. So if you're number one and everything's on point, guaranteed you're making a lot of money. And that's really the ideal way of what Google Shopping is to rank and um, to get sales. And obviously you get paid, but Google also get paid. That is like a flow cycle. That's really what we're trying to do. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a PPC platform in a nutshell, so pay per click. It's not like Facebook where you're paying for impressions. I stress this so many times, but a PPC is literally all you're doing. You're just paying per click. There's no other charges. It's that simple. And this is why I like it. This is why it's, you know, at best in my opinion, because we're not wasting with tire kickers. We're only paying for people that are clicking our ads and they're, they're not wasting, like these guys aren't trying to waste their time. If I'm wanting to buy something, I'm only clicking on stuff that I'm actually, you know, really interested in and possibly going to buy. It's not like Facebook where I'm scrolling, 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 you know, I'll check out a video and then, you know, I'll just check it out for the fun of it or I'll just scroll past it. I'm not wasting time if I'm a customer um, on Google Shopping and clicking on an ad, going through a website. I'm there to buy. So that's why I love it. It's, you know, definitely more warmer traffic um, and it's a lot more profitable. You know, just imagine it like, a, you know, a billboard almost like if you, you know, beside a mall or beside like, you know, any sort of retail park. That's literally what you're doing with your Google Shopping ad. You're placing your billboard right for everybody to see and you're saying, come on in, come on in. 
um, call this number, click this site, you know, buy now, pretty much is all you're saying. And ideally, um, if you can get the right description, the right title, and you know, the right landing page, that's where it all flows and flows and flows. And that's where you start seeing that ka-ching noise if you're doing Shopify um, pretty much every second. So if you can get that right, um, it's just literally rinse and repeat if you're doing like a general store, a niche store, or any other product stores. That's literally what you're trying to do. Because obviously you're not trying to like, you know, if I'm calling a product like a cat bed toy or something like that, I'm not going to be ranking for electronic stuff. So obviously there's some common sense when you're typing your descriptions and that's how you get to the top. You want to make a keyword description, ideally long tail with your title so it's more defined. And if you do it too broad, you can definitely still rank, but you're probably going to be lost in the herd. You want to make sure that it's keyword optimized in the best possible way. And this is why it's the best, you know, in my opinion, to start with the general store, because if you just focus on one product and you don't get it right, you're going to be discouraged. You might jump off the platform. So start with the general store, you know, chuck them out there and just see what one sticks. It's literally that simple. You just want to chuck, 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 suit one stick, scale them. Um, it's the best possible way for beginners to start. So what makes Google Shopping superior to others? And I've already mentioned it, it's warmer traffic. Like it's warmer traffic than Snapchat, TikTok, <laughs> Facebook. Like these people are typing in our products. So that in a nutshell should <laughs> is the best possible way. So it should already convince you guys to switch platforms because they're not in a buying mood. They're on Facebook, they're on Snapchat for a social time, right? Now as well as Google Shopping, that's just this is just the baseline. You can also run stuff like Skags or people, you know, search, whatever you want to call it. I do I call them Skag, single keyword ad groups. So when I'm scaling a shopping campaign, ideally I want to, you know, keep going further. So I don't want to just stop on shopping when you're like searching on your phone, like I mentioned before you before a computer, you'll also see search ads down the bottom. Now, the good thing about search ads or skags is nobody knows how to do them, right? Nobody's educated because it's a lot more difficult. This is where you actually have to type stuff, okay? You actually have to write stuff. It's not like shopping where you just stick it in a Shopify store, send it, and you just see what happens pretty much. For skags, this is why I only recommend it once you have a winning product and an SPC. That's when you want to start looking at your skags. Look at the search terms. I, I pick the top seven, I turn it into phrase broad exact. This might sound a little bit confusing if anybody's never heard of that. Um, and it is confusing, that's why nobody does it and nobody knows how to do it. But ideally, you want to scale with Skags after you do shopping. I've seen a bunch of courses and I've been in a bunch of courses in the past where they teach you how to do Skags at the start. And if you're doing Skags at the start, you're going to get absolutely wrecked, I promise you, because you don't know what keywords are converting. Think about it, if I'm running a shopping campaign, Google gives you all the search terms. It's gonna be confusing, like I said, if you don't know what I'm talking about and you've never looked at Google Ads before, but just think of it like Google gives me the data from shopping. I take that data, I turn it into Skags, rinse and repeat. If you do it back to front, like most people are teaching um, and getting absolutely wrecked, you're guessing the data first. I want to know the data from Google and then I just rinse and repeat. So it's that simple. And that's how you can really scale even further. You can also do stuff like Bing as well, which is literally the exact same as Google Shopping, but it's a little bit more outdated, but it works just as good. You know, overall Google Shopping and Google in general is just superior, in my opinion, to any other platform, literally because it's warm, pra warm traffic and it's the best warm traffic. Like I said, it's going to work for pretty much every physical product. So if you have a brand, dropship and whatever, it's going to work great. Obviously, you, know, have, you have to know what you're doing to run it profitably. Just just like any business model, just like Facebook, people kill it on Facebook. You know, I mock Facebook all the time, Facebook ads, but people still kill it on there, but it's very, very few. Um, and they're very, very not as profitable as you know their screenshots of revenue make it out to be. Only because they're paying for impressions and those impressions rack up, especially if you're getting millions and millions and millions. My advice to you guys is get educated, get in the game and get what you deserve. Peace out.